Before we dive into configuration, I want to talk for a moment about the device name you will see. Mine here is NLP0 S3, which looks a bit little gibberish. At first, there is a story behind it. On all the distros or on other platforms, you might see EN0, ETH0, and ENO1, or something else as the device name, and the kitchen number 0 or the first Ethernet device, but already we're running into a little bit of problem. What does first mean? That numbering scheme is based on the order that a system discovers Ethernet adapters. So why it's usually not a problem for most people, it's possible to detection order may not be consistent time and again, if we have more than one adapter of the same type connected, which the adoption of CTMD and popular distros, we got to what is called predictable network interface names. Instead of numbering the interfaces as they are discovered, assuming they haven't been given specific names in the BIOS. Well, the interfaces give names based on where they physically are connected in the relation to the system, which presumably won't change unexpectedly or by MAC address as a fallback. At the beginning, we have the type on type. EN here means Ethernet. And there are a couple of other designations you will run into as well, like WL for wireless LAN or Wi Fi. P0 refers to the bus, in this case, PC1 bus 0. S3 refers to slot 3, takes off the physical slot on the motherboard, which USB device. There are some other parts of the names you might see, like the port the device is plugged into. You can export your system buses with LSPC and LSUSP if you would like, but that is beyond the scope of this course. The point here is that these names aren't random even through the logs like R, and it can be helpful to know where the name comes from. You can check out this write up at uh, freedesktop.org if you want to find out more about predictable network interface names. See you on the next course.